It's November in Columbus, Ohio, and the wind is whipping out of the west. Already these fans have had to put up with rain, snow, and sleet. ABC Sports welcomes you to college football, the November stretch run in the Big Ten. Illinois pays a visit on the Buckeyes of Ohio State. The standings of the Big Ten will tell you the story. Northwestern moments ago, closing out an 11-point victory over Iowa. They still lead the conference. But the Buckeyes, with games remaining today and against Indiana and Michigan, two-ply to kick it off. And there's a big-timer, Sean Springs, number 24. But the kickoff is a short one. Fielded at the 25-yard line by Nicky Sumalua. And the ball went down on the ground. Pick your feelings about the big O in Columbus, Orlando Pace. The best in college football. But Juan Porter, the offensive center, is really coming along well, too, Brent. Just an unbelievable football story unfolding in Evanston, Illinois. And getting George, and it's not going to be easy for six yards. John's... Thank you, John. And here are Nikki Sualu is in that backfield now with George. And you can see the three wide receivers out on the side. They run Sualu. And this goes against Ohio State. Okay. And Kevin Hardy's a good one here in this defense. He's the captain, obviously, today. The referee, Steve Pamone, was going over to him. Simeon Rice gets a lot of the headlines, as you folks down at Champaign realize. But an all-around linebacker, you might take him and the free safety. Antoine Patton is also outstanding. He is. Well, they need 11 yards here on this second down after the penalty. And they'll swing it on the outside to George, who is an outstanding receiver. First and 10 now for the Bucks. They're coming out from their own 47-yard line. And George has found daylight. Dickey's. You can see that he has a slot formation. Stanley moves into that spot. That's where Glenn would be operating out of the slot. Number three came off the line. Intercepted at the 40-yard line. Illinois burned Hoyn with three interceptions a year ago. Robert Holcomb is lined up behind Bobby Sanders. Sanders gets a start at fullback, leads the way. Holcomb ran into one of his linemen and made the most of it. He had lost it to Scott Weaver, and he replaced him a week ago in Iowa City. Our Chili's backs and receivers for Illinois. Jason Dulek, number 83, a talented wide receiver. Yeah, and he's a big guy at six foot four, 200. He's a very good target. They like to throw him the ball when he's in the slot formation. Chris Corwitz moves over from center to guard, and Tom Shaw steps in for his brother to anchor that offensive line. Just underway, no score in Columbus. The Bucks press show seven. Drop two quickly back out. Johnson has a one-on-one, -on -one and he overthrew Dulick, especially on the road. Now Stanley's number three is back deep. Larson, under pressure, got it off, got a good bounce. Can they get to it? Batted back at the one and down there. I think they down they say, it, Let's hold on now. Let's see exactly where they mark it. They do. They're going to they give do. it to him. With the Buckeyes backed up in the shadow of their own goal line. <laughs> there figures to be a penalty flag, and it is thrown by the linesman there. And he is flanked out to the left side of Bobby Hoyne now. This is Eddie George. George picking his daylight. He can punt it and get it beyond that 50-yard line. And they don't have a great punting game. Eddie George starting to run free. Breaks it on the left side. All the way out to the 33-yard line. And after that punt was down. And they're moving the ball extremely well on the ground. They're blocking that front beautifully. And George now... Now, here's your basic eye formation. George, left side. And again, he makes the most of it. He was able to beat the first defender. Murphy has slipped into that rush linebacker spot. And George is gone. 15. Five to the three-yard line. And replaces George after the 39-yard run. Pearson gets the call. Touchdown, Ohio State. The Buckeyes drive 99 yards. And Simeon Rice missed the last three plays of that Ohio State drive. Josh Jackson adds the seventh point. 
We've got 8.27 to go in the first quarter. And the Buckeyes chasing Northwestern lead Illinois by seven. Coach Cooper not sure whether or not he can handle the duties, but he's healthy here today. And he sends one back to McDonald in the corner. Let's it bounce into the end zone. And he'll down it. <laughs> Bases clearing double in the ninth inning, John. That wrapped it up. And here it's Johnson who will keep it on a naked bootleg. He was going to throw it. No one was out there. And Rob Kelly making the stop. Let's take a look at the Chili's starting defensive lineup now for Ohio State. You really like Vrabel. Oh, I do. He's been very good all along, but he's getting better. He's just starting to go. He's developing pass rush moves other than just being a physical rusher, Brent. There is a big timer, number 24. Sean Springs, the cornerback, as good as there is in the land. Might be the best one we've seen this year. He's got the field, which is over to the right. Here's the handoff to Holcomb, who's headed in that direction. And Holcomb is stopped short for a minute. They knew they were up against it here today. And they just assault the tailback with Mike Vrabel. Time. Larson punting again. Stanley makes the catch at the 32, weaves his way, and Dimitri is down at the 39. Offensive line, you can follow him now. He's number 97, and Hardy was picked up. He was coming, and George is stacked up that time. Simeon has switched to the other side, and a hand to the fullback, Sualua. Simeon took it upfield that time. They're out on the run here this time. Well, they bury it. They bury him a lot. Ooh, the inside linebacker did a good job that time. The offensive line can give him another gap. Bucks lead it by seven right now. Here they come. Right back up the middle. And George just breaks off for another big gain. 115 yards in the opening quarter. There's the toss. Short side behind Sualua. He cuts off a Dudley. One of the things that's impressing... And what a start for number 27, Mr. George, coming at you again. Another big hole, slams inside the 15-yard line. That basic guy that the Bucks like, that's Demetrius Stanley coming at you from the slot. They use Sualua to see if the middle's going to be soft. On there. And Pepe Pearson back at running back. Pearson will get the call, and he could not beat Simeon that time. Third down. And 10 for the Bucks. They lead it by a touchdown. Quick drop, slash, Stanley. Oh, what a catch. Oh, what a touchdown. Demetrius Stanley would not be denied. And the Bucks have two scores in the opening 15 minutes. You know, it's great when a backup player is asked to come in and fill up, fill in for an all-star, all-American caliber guy. They throw the slant pattern a double zone and have him deep and short and Hoying put it right on the money hit him right in the pads it could not be knocked out and Demetrius Stanley that's 24 it at the eight yard line to the 24 yard line this is Holcomb left side and he is tripped up over there by number 30 Greg Belisari they play extremely hard on every snap Johnson's under pressure as a result of that and it's an incomplete pass Wilson has checked in total yards I mean this this is total domination folks here they come again Johnson who's a slippery customer able to get it off and beat him I don't know I'll tell you what they may block one of Larson's punts before this day is over they are coming hard now Demetrius Stanley there is one thing that we have inside of 30 seconds left opening quarter Ohio State 14 Illinois nothing he's audible and run I think Brent and there it is it was George. He should have stuck with the pass. Yeah. Coach Simeon well, Rice coming. 166 for the opening quarter. It is all Buckeyes. But then they've got to keep winning. I mean, those mighty Wildcats of Northwestern already have another W. We'll be right back. Bobby Hoyne.
line, brings the Bucks up to the line of scrimmage here with a second and 13. George goes out as a receiver. The offensive line deflected. Dudley's got it on the ricochet. In front, Stanley, he's scored. He's the motion. They're going to toss, and Solo buries him. What a block the fullback throws. He had lined up improperly. Face mans. Come up now to press the run. George to the left, just steps outside. Tillman throwing a block. Now it's first and 10 for the Bucks. George again, and he steps through, checks in. It's obvious that we're going to have, like a year ago, a couple of titles decided during the bowl picture. Here's George. George swings to the left side. Foot race. George smashes to the two-yard line. And Dudley. Tillman's the motion man. They load behind Hauser. They'll toss George. Sewellor, and he won't get it because Antoine Patton. I watched him run it Thursday. They got Dudley leading the way. George Sewellor. George, George stopped at the one. The toss. It's George. And suddenly it's fourth and goal. And again, McLeod along with Patton. Josh Jackson now. It'll be put down. This will be a 20-yard attempt. He's never missed one at this distance. Dean Kreuzer with the snap. Brian Heinen putting it down. Number 86. And it's good. Lou Tepper's defense does not yield a touchdown this time. But the Buckeyes lead it by 17. Ten minutes to go, first half. Now but to kick it off. McDonald. Alley. Nice return to the 41-yard line. Little that offense trails by 17 points right now. And on a bit of a delay, it's Robert Holcomb. Played pretty well last week. Second down and 10. Now the swing on the outside. They hit the tailback coming out. And Holcomb with speed still going to the 39-yard line. So on their first first down, now they come back and hand it off to Douthert and Douthert. So second down and eight now for Illinois. Trailing Ohio State by 17 points, second quarter. Johnson, good runner, takes off. Left is open and he slides. Shut out here and on the drive. Big third down now against the Bucks. Holcomb couldn't get it. The power eye, they like to run the off tackle play away from it. And that's what they do. Nothing doing. I mean, they ate Douthert up. They feasted on that play. And Eddie George set deep. He can eye the defense. They're Picking his holes from back there. Outside, there was nothing there but real estate. You win it on the field. You go to the Rose Bowl. You play your title game, and you come home. Eddie George. So there are any number of defensive players in this conference this year, too. First down at 10 now, and Pearson is checked in. He's across midfield. It's impressive a performance as we've seen from the Buckeyes in a couple of seasons. Now, we knew they had these big-time players, and fellas like Pearson gives him depth, not that time. Improved. He's still the weakest link, but he's improved a lot. He's pulling out on Simeon Rice that time, and he was able to keep him out long enough. And that allowed the completed pass to Dudley, the tight end, and he to the eight-yard line. And George Hill, my stats man, can't believe it. He needs a calculator to keep up with the Bucks. And that time, it was Washington. We've got... Now on second down, they'll slip it into the hands of George. George to the eight-yard line. It's third down. George goes in motion. First down to Blitz. Washington was in, and Jackson... On to attempt a field goal with Heinen holding. This will be a 33-yarder. He pulled that one, and it's no good. So it stays at 17-0. Gives Illinois a life. First and 10 now for the Illini. Johnson from the shotgun. Havard is checked in, the freshman running back. And 43 yards of offense in the first half for the Illini. Johnson under pressure. Dumps it off, creates a play out of bounds. 17 to zip. Buckeyes. And the defensive player, that was Vrabel starting to cross. After the penalty now, it's a first and five for the Illini. 
Johnson dumps it off now to the freshman running back. Out to the 48-yard line. Good effort. Clock stops briefly, and now it's restarted. Johnson will dump it off again to Havard, and Havard with daylight on that right side, and he steps out of bounds. That's another first down. Middle oh. incomplete in that was Ryan Miller, the linebacker. Number 32 seconds. They drop it off to Havard, and he's cut down at the 35-yard line. Still throw it downfield. Must reach almost the 28 for first down. Bullet can't be caught. Willis, and it was just thrown just a little bit behind him. Holding. Mm. He was on Coach McCartney's staff out at Colorado at one time. In fact, he and Barnett shared an office. Johnson dancing. And he'll... Tepper has sent his putter onto the field. Buckeyes will let this one go. It's the official in the back. Bounces back to the eight-yard line with a second left in the first half. It's just like an umpire getting away. The Oakland Raiders and the Kansas City Chiefs know all about that. Interception, the Chiefs win that baby in overtime. We're at the end of the half. 17-0 Buckeyes. Going here early in the third quarter, huh? Well, I know they have a nice formation package of unbalanced line and three backs in the backfield and the three receiver set. They've just got to get in good field position so they can do it. they got to get in sync. Trot senior Johnny Johnson, Robert Holcomb, is back as his tailback. And off a of fake, Johnson fires a diving reception by Dulek at the 31-yard line. Ten tackles today. Brent, back to you. Yeah, John, that's a tough loss. And here, the Illini explode. Double tight end. Holcomb again sprinting free to the 49-yard line. We're switching from center to guard. Perhaps he's drawing a little more comfortable in that spot. Holcomb now pounds back behind the left side. They've crossed midfield. Now the Buckeyes press. Eight men up on that line of scrimmage. Johnson comes out, steps away from the first defender, fires complete to Douthard. Douthard's a good receiver out of the backfield. The offensive linemen, they have an outstanding left tackle in Kenny Blackman. And this time, it was the Buckeye defense. Mike Vrabel, number 94. Personal foul. And it's against the defense. Playing harder. They're playing with more intensity. We'll see what they've got on first down now. Holcomb is stacked up that time. Bonhouse, a Western without its best defensive player. Mike Alstop will be coming at him. Now Johnson slips the tackle. He's a nifty one, isn't he? Now he's going to throw it out of the end zone incomplete. Now, third and 11. The Buckeyes are expecting a pass with this personnel, and they get it. And they run the uh, slant to McDonald, but nothing doing it. This is going to be about a 42-yard field goal into a win. This is no easy task. He is 6 for 12 so far this year. This is a tough one and a good leg. Nice There's an impressive field goal into that wind here in the horseshoe. And he's another one of those young players on this roster, a sophomore. He, they, they're excited. The coaches are getting fired up. They're going to butt heads on the sideline. Now the, Pepe Pearson, one of the return men. He has replaced Demetrius Stanley. And also Springs is back there, number 24. And Springs cuts back beautifully with a big-time return out to the 35-yard line. That is no gimme for the Wildcats on the road at Purdue. The handoff by Hoynes to George in a foot race, and he gets away. George is gone. Eddie George putting up more Heisman Trophy numbers. minus yardage but the big strong fast guy like Eddie George is he ran out of the tackle got good blocking again they're collapsing the point and running back coach Tim Spencer raises his hand that's 244 yards and a score for George Jackson hammers in the extra point that's and fit just what it looked like Illinois might make a game of it back came Mr. George unbelievable rushing touchdown of the year and the Buckeyes are not to be denied today.
and the snow starting to come down in Columbus. And McDonald got a hole, got a crease. At the Illinois 36-yard line. Springs quickly. The Buckeyes catch the Illinois defense before they're set. They snap the ball with the Illini defenders still running on the field. That's they weren't even ready to go. Your pants down. George again, and he is stalking the record. Eddie George looking for an Ohio State record. We can hear the chant. Eddie, Eddie. The crowd very well aware of the impressive numbers that he's putting up here this afternoon. They'll stick with him and nothing doing that time to the 20-yard line. With eight and a half minutes to go. The penetration to be headed to Pasadena. Where they'll play Blitz. these Buckeyes or Northwestern. And a one hopper is incomplete. It's, and then Michigan in Ann Arbor, they will go. This is a 38-yard field goal attempt for Jackson. No good. And it stays at 24 to 3 with seven and a half minutes. So now on first and ten, Johnson, and it is incomplete. Down to Allen's second down and ten. Dalford is slapped. Well, we start out uh, with polls uh, that are determining uh, first, second, third, when, when there's never even been a game play. And I think they've got to wait until the middle of the year or have something that's a little, little bit more legitimate. Demick program out there. No hazard here in Ohio State. The two can coexist very well. Thank you very much. Well, here's Brett Larson back to punt now for the Illini. Ooh, not a good one. That's kind of the weak one he's had, and it'll take an Ohio State bounce. They're going to take over inside the 40-yard line. Fair. In Cleveland, without a, a player being attacked and asked those questions, it's got to be a distraction. Well, here's a distraction to the Illinois defense. Coach working his telestrator over. Second down and seven. Nice to have you along with us. Hoyne's going to drop off the screen pass. To nice the shot. Fumble. Out of bounds, Buckeye ball. More, yeah, but you too. and I still have a Nebraska game against Oklahoma, and I'm yep. very impressed with what Tommy Frazier yeah. has done. Yeah. Here's George. That <laughs> not, not very well. <laughs> Fourth down now, and George slants. First down, 25. Passes his way to the 18 and 24 to three. Now they have a first down inside the Illini 20-yard line. Offense. Receivers were covered, and Hoyne. Great lineman through the years. Lined up over there at that tackle spot. Now George steps through to the 13-yard line. So here it is. Eddie George now with 275. And the new Ohio State rushing record for the moment. He adds to it. George slams to the end zone. Touchdown. Oh, baby, what a run. He's so strong. If you try to reach and grab him with your arms, you aren't going to stop him. Look at old Coach Cooper as he bumped, and he deserves it. He's been through a lot of static over the years here, trying to equal the, the likes of a Woody Hayes, and today his team steps up. Zone and scored the touchdown. Great hold that time by Heinen. He was able to get it down and get set, and there he is. He's the record holder. Eddie George. It's 31 to 3 now. <laughs> Look at it. Is he a man? And a good man. Philadelphia is very proud of this guy. This is where he was born and raised. He might get 300, ladies. Defense. Yeah, Jared Iowa. Was Illinois. Coming in here. Exactly. Smith bobbles into the end zone. Now he takes a knee. Johnny Johnson's gone all the way at quarterback. And Karut. Douthard slips at the 20. And I believe Jack Karut has found our line up there, Jack. There you go. Good luck. Thank now. you very much. Johnson slips. Now he fires high. And it's intercepted by the Buckeyes. At the 15, out of bounds at the 10-yard line. Jay back Bryant. up Jay Bryant, the backup free safety. From now, working against the clock, they've got two seconds. They just do get it off. 
Eddie George stretches it, and he's outnumbered. So that and wouldn't Michigan love to represent Northwestern on that Saturday afternoon? They'd love to deny the Buckeyes. Touchdown. Touchdown. You know who this time as a receiver. That's his third touchdown of the game. Down this year, Dick. Jackson. What do you think? Bucks are pretty good, huh? Oh, my gosh. And we've seen some good football teams. We've seen Florida State and they're these kind of football teams, but this team is a, a complete package, and I think on a given day can beat anybody in the country. So you know the other 38-3. He's out to the 23. And 50 seconds. A trap, and they did it. You see the four down linemen defensively getting great pressure off the ball. Brable was coming again. I want now it's Finkus on Blackman. And the freshman. It's Ohio State. 38, Illinois 3. Back with the fourth quarter after this message of the word from our ABC station. Standing at the 11-yard line. Takes a low snap. Gets it off. And this is Demetrius Stanley, the wide receiver. Takes it on the run. And Demetrius is down. He should audible to pass against this defense. He doesn't. Eddie George. Slashes. Yeah, by looks of the blow, Jack, it looked like more of a knockout punch than that compression problem that Dick Vermeil has in. Uh, Dead ball. Delay of game. Offense. Five yard penalty. It's still second down. Now Bobby Hoyne. And this is Ricky Dudley, the tight end, and. <laughs> this is third and 17, and Bobby Hoyne bringing that clock down again. Going to snap it at two seconds. Oh, nice. Here comes George. Hello, 300. Eddie George. Many of them fullbacks through the years, but Eddie George becomes the first in history to rush for better than 300 yards. And his work day is oh. not yet finished. Sure and George now. And here comes Eddie. Here's the ovation. Now Hoyne slaps a pass. No more couch potato for Eddie George. <laughs> comes the reverse, Demetrius Stanley. Stanley to the... There's a toss to Pearson, who's the backup, and Pearson's got it. A penalty flag, however, is down at the 18-yard line. Illegal block in the back. Offense. 10-yard penalty from the spot of the ball. Replay, second down. Pick and roll. Set the screen with. Looks like Blitz. Here they come. Hardy and Pearson passed it. To the 12 yard line. And again, they ran the clock out and they're going to take a penalty. Dead ball. Delay of game. Offense. Five yard penalty from the previous spot. First and 15 for the Bucks. Stanley number three. Big hole. hole in the middle. To the well, it wasn't very bad off. You know, really. No, it just hadn't been the road ball. George, yeah. yeah. Hoyne taken off. Slides to the nine-yard line. It was... So, Hoyne... 
Lobs one. And a man open, Dudley. Lottery system to hand out tickets. The rest of the tickets go to important people, VIPs. That's a 26-yard field goal there. Uh, 26 Jack, yards. I don't know why folks are so upset here in Columbus unless they want to come to Pasadena and watch Northwestern. <laughs> I don't you know. Okay, 41-3. to three. The Buckeyes lead Illinois in Columbus. Let it bounce on in the end zone. He'll down it. Here's the toss now to Holcomb, and he's cut off. Bucks in the bank. Yeah, got a few. Johnson's gone all the way. And he'll step out of bounds. Practice fields are That's one ball. of the nicest facilities in the country. Oh, yeah. They run the slow ball. Maybe. And McDonald bounced right back up. Ty Douthard straight ahead. Have a little game. <laughs> game. Oh, yeah. Noise talking Western. about yeah. playing Nebraska. Yeah. We had to put Gordon Gee on that right away. Ty Douthard appreciated the courtesy that he and Steve Snap and the whole staff have extended here. Likewise for Northwestern. It's been a great year for college football. Johnson out of bounds. Oh, nice punt. He's got a leg, Coach. Boy, he's a dandy. Yeah, that'll go on into the oh, end zone just yeah. barely. Huh? Completed 11 of the 20 passes that uh, he has attempted. Well, at 516, take us home, Jack. <laughs> okay. I want to hear some more of that band. Five minutes to go. <laughs> and here's the handoff to Pearson. Oh, my gosh. The underline partner? Yeah. Second down. Second Pearson. And the Bucks continue to work away at the clock. Now 420. Some of those. Good block by Bobby Hauser out there. The to sit on it. We'll yeah. see what happens here for the last 254. Jackson on the big toss. He's run out of bounds. That's a, the Buckeyes have improved throughout the course no, of the yeah. season. They were already a good yes. team. Yeah. And here's Pepe Pearson. On first down, and Jermaine Jackson. Ooh, nice. Slapped down at the 20. Back in New York. The technical director back there is Gary Boyarski. And the Buckeyes are at the five-yard line. Production manager, Lindy Ambrosio. And are the Bucks going to get another one? Stop short. Well, thanks to one all. Jackson stopped at the four. There is the man, Eddie Mr. George, the first 300 rusher in the history of Ohio State football. Three touchdowns, John Cooper and the Buckeyes win it over Illinois easily. 41-3, the final score.